friend that says we're live. It's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. It's time for GotBot Goes Live, baby. Now I'm going to get a couple of things ready, as I always do. Then we're going to kick it off. This is going to be a fun one tonight. We have a ton to cover, including a piece of exclusive news, a listing that has yet to be mentioned anywhere but was brought to my attention. I have broken news before. Tonight is one of those times. It is a mysterious listing that I'm not sure what to make of it. We're going to ponder it a little bit, uh, but it is up and coming. I'm going to do most of the news early in the show because there's a ton of it to get through, and otherwise I'm going to get lost talking to you guys. But if you know a fan, if you know a fan, tonight is one of those nights. Hey, man, let them know because we are going to be talking about an exclusive listing that was brought to my attention that I have yet to see reported anywhere. And we're going to kind of try and figure out what it could potentially mean. Uh, it is not a rumor. It is a listing. So take that for what you will. Uh, I do see that you guys are in there. Give me a few moments to kind of get things uh, settled away here. And then we will get going. Like I said, it's going to be a, this is going to be a fun one, man. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to cover. But it's going to be a good time getting it covered tonight. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week as we head into the weekend. Man, summer is like kind of upon us in a lot of areas, even here where we rarely get summer. But it's coming upon us. So let me get things sorted away. Um, I'm going to let you know right now before I kind of reply to you guys there. I'm going to let you know right now that we have a ton of uh, like reveals and whatnot to talk about from Earthrise and Selects and Studio Series. We're going to touch on the upcoming video game. We're going to touch on a couple of things uh, that are up and coming here on the channel very, very soon. Tomorrow is kind of like a got bot day, if you will. And then we're going to sort of conclude things off. We're also going to talk about, by the way, the latest English translation of the chapter two of the God Ginrai, or not God Ginrai, uh, the God Neptune comic. And you're going to see kind of where some of my problems with the way the Japanese fiction is pre presented. Like some of it just doesn't sit right with me. And I, I'll explain kind of like why I'm not a, a, a huge fan of it personally. Not saying anybody else shouldn't be, but you'll, you'll see when we get to it. It'll be funny though. And, um, the exclusive bit of news, we're going to save that for the very end, of course, because, you know, got to have a little cliffhanger. Got to have something important at the end, right? So let's see what we have here. Cybermatic Geek, happy to see you in here. Uh, Jay, always happy to see you in here. Soul Mist. Uh, guys, if you haven't checked out Soul Mist's most recent podcast with uh, Lord Starscream, uh, go check it out. It's on Soul Mist's channel. Uh, it was Monday, and they talked about stuff. A few interesting things on it, to be honest with you. A few interesting things, not the least of which, and I'm not sure now if I can find, there was one topic in particular, if it comes to me, I'll let you know what it was, but there was something that I wanted to address. It's just been one of them weeks, man. It's been a busy week, but it's definitely worth checking out if you didn't do so already. Uh, ben, happy to see you. Jillian, happy to see you. Dragonfly, happy to see you. Mike, always happy to see you. Mike, of course, is our um, producer. Uh, BS Prime, happy to see you, buddy. Uh, Tommy, always happy when you're here. Now, Tommy, this is going to be one of those times when you're going to be glad to be around because we are going to have a bit of exclusive news that I've yet to see anywhere. It's only small this time, but it is a listing that has come to me. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, ooh, Sp Spenceria Scott? I, I, I have Scout? Scott? I'm not even sure if I'm saying your name right, and I apologize. I am... I'm not good, but I'm, I'm happy you're here all the same. Uh, Spenceria. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know, man. I'm going to say it's Spenceria, and if I'm wrong, you let me know. What else do we have here going down? Uh, John, happy to see you here. Hold on. I just got to make a, an adjustment here. Um, I will check it out after the show, Dragonfly. Um... Soul Mist, they're doing a, a plug for community for all of us. And I just said as well, go check it out, guys. Um, hey, Guy. I, I guess it's Guy guy and Allie. Um, but I don't know if it's Guy or Allie who's here. 
Uh, let's see. I'm watching this while playing a game. Fair enough, Jillian. The pins on Earthrise. Ah, yes, that's what it was, Solomus. The pins on Earthrise Starscream. And we're going to talk about it because we, of course, have to address that, that thrust. But thank you, Solomus. That's exactly what it is that I wanted to mention. And I only know about it because it was brought up on your show. And there you go, guys. That tells you right there why it's worth checking out because you never know what bits of news you're going to get by checking out all of these shows. Uh, by the way, we're going to talk about another show by a good friend of all of us, uh, Ninja Bill, coming up in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to run through the uh, – actually, I'm going to do the trivia – Am I going to do the trivia yet? No, I'll let the trivia, we'll, we'll let the trivia, we'll let the trivia slide for a little bit as people come in. But I am going to start going through the news because there's a ton of it. And I really want to get it sort of out of the way um, before I get lost in everything that's going on. So news and notes. Very first thing we saw was some images of Earthrise RC. And a lot of people have been worried about her articulation in comparison to her backpack. And she does have a huge backpack. We know part of it can be used as like her slider. And we know that that slider now can also go on her back, which makes the backpack even bigger, man. Like I get it, I hear ya. But, but um, her articulation is stupendous. Uh, she can get a lot of poses, more than the generations. Now I love the generations, but I'm not going to pretend that I'm not intrigued by the Earthrise. Now, before we go on, I forgot to do the intro. We'll do the intro. We'll get it out of the way. I, of course, am your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, baby, that's right. Hit that notification bell. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check me out everywhere. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors NL, and the Autobot family. Have a look for me on Patreon. Uh, we've done a couple of interesting uh, patron-exclusive discussions there in the last couple of weeks. It's things I've talked about here on the channel, but I kind of consolidated it together there. Uh, check out what we offer on Teespring. Always kind of coming up with ideas to add to the storefront. Okay, so I just talked about... Uh, RC and how her articulation is actually pretty stupendous. I think that her articulation is as good, if not better, than the upcoming MP. I'm not super sold on the MP. I feel like the Earthrise and the Generations RC looks and feels more like RC than the MP. Crazy, I know, but that's how I feel. We also found out that with Earthrise Trailbreaker, I think everybody sort of expected this, that his... Um, the back of his truck section can come off and become like a uh, shield on his arm. That's cool. Or, of course, you can leave it there. Also cool, he and Sunstreaker are now on pre-order for me for October. So they will definitely be coming. I am definitely adding both of them to the collection. Just a little heads up of things to come in the fall. But uh, I thought that that was kind of nice to see it confirmed that, yeah, that piece can come up and become a shield for Trailbreaker. We also found out uh, that uh, Cyberverse RC, the deluxe Cyberverse RC, not only looks fantastic, but she, too, has some excellent articulation, as does uh, Thunderhowl. Both of them look great. Uh, Masterfire, see you in here, buddy. For you, I know that you're excited about uh, the... Cyberverse Deluxes, and man, I can't argue with you. I am, I'm in for Thunderhowl. I don't know about the RC yet because I have an RC, but I'm definitely, definitely in for Thunderhowl as it's a character I do not have. So totally, totally in for, for that. Uh, we also saw images of um, Skipjack, whatever. It's the studio series Rampage in Yellow. Uh, I guess if you like it, you'll like him, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to check in here with you guys just a little bit because I do see you guys uh, talking here, and I'm going to try and balance things out a bit better than I have in the last little while. Um, pins in Earthrise Starscream. Yes, the pins in Earthrise Starscream. You'll see Dragonfly when we get to it. Um, I'm on Ninja Bill. Oh, uh, Solmus just said that he's on Ninja Bill's show this week, and we're going to talk about Ninja Bill and Friends as well, actually. I promised him this morning that I would talk about it. Uh, I'm waiting for RC. I can't blame you, Jay. Uh, which RC, Jay? The Earthrise or the Cyberverse or both? Because I think they're both really good RCs. For someone who did not get a version of herself for so many years, I love seeing 
so many versions of her, of her now. We have the Generations, you know, and, and granted, we've had like Transformers Prime and we've had those ones, for example, but I'm talking about, and we've had some third party ones, but I'm talking about like proper G1 representations. We've had the Generations. We've had her now as a headmaster with Titans Return. We've had her um, now uh, with the Cyberverse version coming out and we've had her now again with the new uh, Earthrise and they like, each one of them, man, has their merits. Absolutely. Um, Tommy says he can't wait for tomorrow night's episode. Don't forget, we also have the countdown tomorrow. Now, patrons are getting a little bit of early access. Uh, but tomorrow to Worldwide, we're going to have the countdown of the strongest. We'll get to that in just a little bit, too. Uh, let's see. Hey, Transformers 2002. I am doing all right. I love, I love your image there with the half Autobot, half Decepticon symbol, my friend. Sam, always happy when you're here. Snow, been a little while, buddy, since I've seen you, but I'm so happy you're here. I think the MP is overpriced. The MP is always overpriced, Mike. I agree with you. Um, the MP1 has too many flaps. It does, Master Fire. I agree with you. And not only is too many flaps, but I feel like the face is so off. It's like... I don't know. It doesn't, the shape of it is off. Like it's the right colors and stuff, but the shape of the jaw on the MP to me is off for RC. Just maybe it's an aesthetic thing to each their own, but it's off to me. Uh, as we go down here, um, MWG, happy to see you here as well. Um, as a little preemptive complaint, about Deluxe Trail Breaker. This is Firebite now. Why the heck can the backpack parts form, but the shoulder flaps don't? Fair question, Firebite. Fair question. Um, I don't know. Good question. I think that RC should have come with only one shoulder. I, I agree. I thought that she was only going to come with one. She's coming with both shoulders, and it looks like the hammer as well, Master Fire. So I find that interesting. Uh, slow DK, happy to see you in here. I uh, can't wait for studio series Dino Jolt and Side We're going to talk about that next, actually, Jillian. Just coming up. Um, both, fair enough, Jay. Both, that's that's fine because I think they're both going to be good. Uh, it's the year of the RCs and the Cliff Jumper. It really is, Master Fire. I agree with you 100%, buddy. Um, hey, Thomas, happy to see you here. As we go down, guys, if I miss anything, nah, man, you're not too late. We didn't cover a whole lot yet, Thomas. Just talked about RC and a couple of the Earthrise offerings coming up, like Trailbreaker. Uh, and we talked about Skipjack. Nothing too big yet, but we are going through the uh, news kind of early. TFN Geek, you didn't miss much. You just heard the same thing, my friend. Um, hey, Slash the Weasel. I'm just going to call you Slash, baby, because it's cool. Um you didn't miss too much. RC has been the main part that we've talked about yet. Um, and we're going to get to Ninja Bill in just a little bit. Hey, look at that. Ninja Bill is in here. And he, I'll do it now. Huge congratulations to Ninja Bill. He just hit 200 subs. His next goal is 500. Guys, if you're not subscribed to Ninja Bill, go subscribe to him. And it might just be worth your while. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. Um, I buy all studio series, says Jay. That's cool. Then you're going to be very happy with a lot of things coming up, man. Um, Earthrise RC really need what really needs is for the head to be optionally removable and the slot compatible with Titan Masters. I could see that MWG actually, that'd be kind of cool. Absolutely ready for the Netflix show. I don't know, I know it's supposed to premiere this month. I guess it depends on if they've managed to do the editing and stuff. Man, I can't wait for that. I know it's going to be like one big movie, but I cannot wait for it. Uh, got a new Ironworks. Ironworks is great, and you could always get the uh, toy hack set and convert it. Shout out to Patriot Prime uh, because he looked at that set. If the shoulder wings on Trailbreaker could parts form, they could be swords. Agreed. They could be swords. Uh, Jillian, uh, who's my uh, who's your favorite Autobot and Decepticon? Favorite Autobot character, Wheeljack. Um, Favorite Decepticon? Probably Shockwave. Um, I'm not sure. I know the Starscream wife would say that hers is a Starscream. Uh, hey, Ravage, happy to see you here. I managed to get a few more Holy Grails, the Make Toy Cybertron Screamer. Great version of Starscream. Really excellent version. The Bacon 2011 set. Uh, animated RC. I also really like that RC. And Cybertron Galvatron. Nice haul, man. Um... 
Who am I kidding? I buy everything. <laughs> oh, Jay. Yeah, we all do, buddy. I'm actually really excited to get the last two Cyberverse uh, Deluxe to complete Macadam. Yeah, I, I'd love to have Macadam. I, I don't really have room or the extra funds for all the Cyberverses, though I think they're an excellent, excellent line. I would love, love to have Macadam to go toward my original 13. I really would. It breaks my heart that I don't. Um, but, you know, such is life, man. Uh as we go down, uh, Wheeljack, uh, two tracks was my favorite, and Galvatron. Cybermetic Geek says, Patriot Prime for the voice of Ironhide? Uh, I don't know. Um, when is the Netflix show coming out? Unknown. They don't know yet, uh, or at least it's not made public. My guess is that they want to make sure everything is done, edited, and tied up. Netflix will definitely let you know because they'll push it out when they're ready. But to my knowledge... Nothing for sure has been announced as an actual concrete date yet. So we'll see. Um, I'm six away. Solomon is six away from 200. I assume he's time at subs. Uh, so what, hi, everyone. I've ever played the Transformers games before. Bob Cybertron, etc. cetera. Um, I know the games. I played them briefly, but I have seen them all played, if that makes sense. And uh, the gameplay is amazing. The graphics amazing. Um Honestly, I saw both of them, and even Dark Spark was played as well because you had to have the whole trilogy. Easily the best Transformers games that there ever was. No doubt in my mind, Sideswipe. No doubt in my mind at all. Um, the ER, uh, RC looks a bit like... Here's the thing. I think the Cyberverse and the G1 RC, Jillian, look a lot alike anyway, so I, I can see where you're coming from there. I really want... Uh, I tell you, of all the 13 primes, yeah, I'd like to have Fire Ninja. I'm like you, I'd like to have all 13. Right now, I have about seven of the primes, roughly, or some version thereof. So, I'm getting closer. Uh, not a whole lot left to, to go based on the 13 as depicted in the aligned continuity, I should say. Although, to be fair, I did include within that 13 one from another continuity being logos prime um so it's it's been a hard go but i'm trying to get get a, a version of the 13 together uh let's see here um howling meteor is pretty awesome i agree with slow dk derek hey happy to see you um you haven't missed too much yet we've just started to go through a bit of the news mostly about rc and trailbreaker now right there with derek i'm going to stop i'm going to go back we're going to do a bit of the news and we're going to go into studio series next we know we're getting a revenge of the fallen b and sam i i'm not gonna lie i'm sick of studio series bumblebees it seems like every single wave has yet another bumblebee didn't we already get a revenge of the fallen bumblebee the draw here has to be the little Sam figurine, I would think. I would think. But what do I know? Uh, Jolt, I think, is going to be an exciting addition for a lot of the movie fans. Uh, I think the original mold was pretty good. I think the new mold should be equally as good, if not better. Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. We already got a Sideswipe, but the Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, I guess, will be a redeco, I assume. So if you didn't get the original, maybe this will be your opportunity to pick it up. We're also getting Leader Class Grindor, which is going to definitely just be like a repaint, I assume, of Blackout, since they're the exact same body type. Except this one's going to come with Ravage rather than Scorponok. I assume Ravage will be able to uh, affix onto the helicopter, much like Scorponok did. We'll see, but that's kind of what I'm expecting. Uh, we also found out that we're getting a TF6B, yet another B. I don't know what that is. I, I'm not sure what TF6 would be for some upcoming movie. Uh, uh, from the Bumblebee movie again? I don't know. It's a weird one. That's a very weird one. We also found out that we're getting Dino. Now, what's interesting is Dino was in uh, Dark of the Moon, which is the third movie, but it's labeled in the listing as TF2. I don't know why, but it is. Nevertheless, I think a Dino, a proper Dino, here in, in like mass release outside of Japan is long 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 overdue so if you're a movie fan i think that's a, probably the most exciting one listed we found out we're getting master fire as a matter of fact is the one who pointed this out to me that we're getting 86 nah again i guess it's going to be a shark to con mold then when he told me he said i'm in for six i'm not in for six but depending on the mold i might get a trio i have three of the cyberverse 
I like that fine enough for what it is. I have three of the Titans return. I didn't go crazy and get like 12 or 30 or something. Um, I might get a trio of these and have a total of nine. Um, Sharktacons. There you go. Uh, I, I want to, you know, probably a trio of Alley Cons. I'll probably get a trio of Quintessons to go with my current trio of Quintessons. And then I think I'm good with that force. Like, I think that's, I think that's a good enough army, so to speak. I don't know. If they put out a scientist or a prosecutor, I'd probably get that. Nevertheless, apparently we are getting that. And then they pointed out the that the 86 Grimlock uh, had artwork. Now, the artwork is not official artwork. It shows Wheelie on Grimlock's back. It's actually artwork, despite being on, I think, Walmart. It's actually artwork lifted from a T-shirt. I could, however, believe that because Grimlock is supposed to be a leader, that he's probably much like Shockwave going to come with some little figurine of Wheelie that doesn't transform but can probably sit on his back. I I have my Black Mamba Dinobots. I'm good. I'm not interested in the least. I don't think, I agree with T Fan Page 101. I don't think that they should put the 86 movie G1 characters in the studio series line. I feel like those characters are best served in the main generations line and that studio series are best served for the live action films. I think I've already had some people come to me and complain and say, because you guys get the main generations line, that's not enough for you. Now you got to have studio series too. And they're not happy about it because they're fans of the live action movies. And I, you know what, honestly, I tend to agree with them. Now, that being said, Studio series in Japan has not been selling as well because over there, the original G1 animation is still king. It's absolute king. So I think that the incorporation of the 86 movie may very well, and I think that input and the lads talked about it on Tales, uh, Tales from Teletran, I tend to agree with them that I believe that's being incorporated because of a push from Takara. I could be wrong. They could be wrong. But... I feel like that's what's going to happen. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I don't, I'm not comfortable having those two overlap because I see them as kind of discreet. I'd like for them to stay dis discreet. So I guess we'll see from there. We also had some Earthrise leaks, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Uh, Mech Fans Toy showed a toy car version of their Fantastic Legend Scale Astro Train as well. They showed a Legend Scale version of Octane, or Oct well, not even Octone, it's Octane. And um, both look tremendous, really tremendous. If you're into the Legend Scale, I think Mech Fans Toys has you covered for those two characters very well. Uh, I assume that they're going to do, if they haven't already, I assume they're going to do a Blitzwing because they've done the other two triple changes at Legend size and it looks like done well. Uh, we also... Uh, found out that Neza in China is going to be releasing more of their brick characters, namely the Bumblebee and the Megatron. They look really good. Excellent articulation. Well done. Uh, we also saw images of the um, Jada, uh, Optimus, and Bumblebee. Not just shaded out ones, but we actually saw images of the robots. They look pretty good, I mean, for what they are. I'm uh, going to mark all that off because there's a lot here to cover, man. A lot here. Uh, Pop Culture showed their Shockwave statue. It's cell shaded. It's about 10 and a half inches. Kind of expensive, but it looks beautiful like the rest of their artwork. That's what it is. It's artwork. If you haven't seen the images, go check them out. What else do we have here that I want to get out of the way? Um, we found out that uh, Michael Lombardo of HBO2 fame... Um, for the last two of HBO for the last two decades, sorry, is jumping into Hasbro's E1 and is going to kind of handle their television properties, including Transformers, sort of going forward. Now, he's been responsible for a lot of hit HBO shows over the last two decades, and he puts an emphasis on excellent storytelling. Uh, what will this mean for our favorite robots and some of our other favorite franchises going forward? Will we see a revitalization of some of those franchises? I don't know, but I think he's a talented leader to bring on board. Will it make a difference? I guess we'll see, because guess what? Akiva Goldsman is a great and talented guy, and he done the writer's room for Transformers, and that was a disaster. So I guess you can't guarantee anything. Uh, what else do we have here? We found out that on October the 23rd, Transformers Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds, is that what it's called? 
yeah, Battlegrounds is going to release. Apparently, it's a strategy player. It looks more like a uh, like a like a Tekken Street Fighter type of game to me. But what do I know? I feel like the artwork looks great on it. Very much inspired. It's kind of like a mishmash. The artwork to me looks like a mishmash between the style of Devastation, but with the um, kind of body styling of um, Cyberverse. So I don't really know, but the trailer looks impressive. If you're into video games, it might be a good one. It's going to touch the War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron. I'll throw Dark Spark in there. I doubt it. But it might be it might be pretty fun. It is, however, the first video game apparently in the like in five years for Transformers, and it's the first video game that's going to be on the Switch for Transformers. So a couple of firsts there, and I'm kind of impressed with that, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to check in again here with you guys now and get down a little bit, and then we'll go back to a little bit more of the news here. Um, Let's see. I'm still hoping for a War for Cybertron Galvatron. Uh, he needs a proper G1 Redeco. That's, uh, you know what? I agree. And I've been saying all along, uh, Transformers 2002, I've been saying all along that I think that when we see Galvatron on the side of the Earthrise box, that it's referring to that little glob that is coming with Unicron. But I'm starting to open up to the idea that maybe, just maybe I'm wrong. Just maybe because of some leaks that happened this week, which we still have to get to. Um, ALB, happy to see you here. Uh, hey, Blue, happy to see you here as well. Let's see, forgot to mention, I also finally got Legends Nightbird. Goes great as a nemesis for the customized Windblade I got and War and Fall of Cybertron. The Legends Nightbird, I think, is the better Nightbird. I think you made the smart choice by getting that one for sure, Ravage. 100%. I'd be interested to see the customized Windblade, though. Uh, let's see. Go down here. As we go down here. Um, oh, no. Where where did I get lost here? Again, guys, if I miss something, I, I apologize. I'm doing the best I can, baby. Doing the best I can for you. Um. But I do have to go back up here a little bit. Because I know I went through a bunch of news and I, I missed the, the comments. Uh, in conjunction with it. Um, how far up do I have to go here, man? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pardon me, guys. Pardon me. Uh, let's see. The what? I'm chewing on getting Macadam. Haven't given it. Uh, what? I'm chewing. On, oh, okay. I'm getting Macadam. Haven't given in yet. I'd like to, but I, I just, I, I, I can't. I just, I don't have the funds. The pandemic kind of ruined everything. So what do you do? Uh, Dinobots, Protectobots, Terracons, Seacons, or Monstructor. I'd be down for a Monstructor, actually, Thomas. I got the rest, but a Monstructor would be good. A uh, mess for I got to take off. Hope your foot feels better, buddy. Um, could we see a video of my 13? I could probably at some point show, uh, uh, show them off. It's like it's not much. I want to say that I last, like, I as I add to them, I tend to show them. What was the last one I would have added? I'm not sure. I'll look into it, Fire Ninja. I'll look into it. I don't have 13. I only have about half of them, but I'll look into it. Uh, let's see. Going down here. I'm ready for an awesome uh, is, bro, Hot Rod. to I'm, We got an awesome Hot Rod. It's called Titan's Return. That thing was fantastic. Hey, look at that. It is. It is. Matt, Analog Ninja. Um, is it Ninja? Matt, I never remember your name, buddy. Although I always know that you are our Super Chat Super Fan, and I appreciate you to absolutely no end. You know that, though. You absolutely know. I know, Matt, that you know that. Um, as we go down here, I just got Hotlink and 8-Face. Oh, Hotlink update. Still not here. No, no Netflix anything here in my neck of the woods. But little birdie told me that that might be rectified very, very soon. We'll see. Uh, Ape Face, Ape Face is like, I like the robot. I like each of the modes. I just don't like going between them. I don't like the transformation, but I like each of the modes. I'm glad to have them. I can't wait for Snapdragon. 
Uh, Eddie, happy to see you, buddy. Been a little while. Uh, there's way too many bumblebees. Yes, there are way too many bumblebees. Um, Sam equals bumblebee. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. It's going to be the same bee that uh, just came out with a slightly different paint. Absolutely, Jay. You're 100% right. Slash, we need pink bumblebee. Ah, uh, AK laser beak. That would be an interesting one, Slash. Uh, what kind of hot rod? Uh, I really am looking forward to RC. Oh, Ninja Bill, I know you are. You've been talking about RC forever, baby. I'm getting thirsty, man. I'm getting thirsty. Try hard to keep up with you guys. I don't think I'm going to get the SS. I'm not getting any of the bees. I don't. Here's the thing. I have reviewed a bunch of the Studio Series Bumblebees. I don't like any of them. I, they... The engineering for the bumblebees always feels like it's too intricate for the small size. Like it's over-engineered for the small size. It would be good engineering if they were a Voyager size. It's the same problem with Universe Galvatron. The engineering wasn't really that bad on it. It's just they took it and downsized it to a deluxe and it didn't work. And that's the way I feel with the Studio Series bumblebees. You know, take it for what it is, man. Don't forget, don't forget, we do have coming up an exclusive listing. Grinder is bigger than Blackout. Uh, Grinder is bigger than Blackout, but this is a leader grinder. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the blackout mold. They're not gonna take that mold and upsize it, and they're not gonna do a new mold. It's gonna be blackout. It is what it is. Which, for the record, is a tremendously good mold. I absolutely love it. I do have blackout and love it. Earthrise hot rod, please. I don't think it's gonna come in Earthrise, it might come in the third part. I don't I I don't want to, you know what? I don't want a hot rod slow DK. I'm done. We got a, an excellent hot rod with Titan's Return. You know what I want? I want a good Rodimus Prime because the power of the Prime's Rodimus Prime is hot garbage. It's my Rodimus for now, but it's not good. Not good at all. I want a good Rodimus. And after what they did, I would be cool if they, it was said last week, I would be cool if they took Rodimus and gave it the same effect that they did with Optimus and Earthrise, where they make him a leader with his trailer piece and give him a good robot. I'd be down for it. Absolutely. Uh, Dark of the Moon, Sideswipe is a convertible. Ah, there you go. So it might be slightly different. Molding Ravage, I guess, is better to have uh, a hive than a cluster. Uh, parking Garage, yeah, fair enough, TF Fan Geek. 86 Movie Studio Series, yeah, I... I some people are going to like it, but you're going to see a lot of people complain about it. Earthrise, point blank, a sure shot. Absolutely, please. I agree with TF Fan Geek there for sure. Uh, don't think we need an Earth uh, Hot Rod, but a better Rodimus. Hey, you look at me and Mike. Me and Mike, always on the same level, man. Always on the same level, baby. I think the Sideswipe will have a cover instead of a convertible like the Dark of the Moon. It might. Um... Interesting to see G1 Dinobots listed as 86 movie. It's not Dinobots. It's Grimlock. But one would think they'd at least have to do three of the others. Because in the movie, three of the other Dinobots were there. So I don't, I don't know. I, I'm out. Like, I got the Black Mamba set. Unless they can give me the entire group of Dinobots at a pretty proper scale for about 65 bucks Canadian. I'm not interested. And they're not going to do that. They are not going to do that. But I guess I see the draw. But I think they should be in Generations rather than Studio Series. Like I said, I'm with TF Fan Page 101. He said the same thing. Uh, I want my Target Masters. Yes, so do I. Let me quote Sam about more Bumblebee figures. No, 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 no. I agree. I'm uh, mainly hoping for an SS86 Galvatron. No, I don't want Galvatron Scourge or the Sweeps. or You're not going to get a Ravage. Dude, you're not going to get Galvatron, Scourge, the Sweeps, Astro Train. We just, we just got an Astro Train. You're not going to get another one. Uh, Blitzwing, if we got one a couple of years ago, you might, but it's not going to be as good as... Honestly, none of them are going to be as good as the Generations. You fix the chest on the Generations, and the Titan's Return isn't as good, and what they do next is going to be too small. You know what you're going to get? You're going to probably get some of that stuff in the third section of... Now, War for Cybertron. I feel like that's where it's headed because of Sleep Mode, uh, Optimus Prime, and because of uh, now the upcoming Cyclonus, which we're going to talk about in a minute. I think people that have surmised that Part 3 is going to be Season 3 are probably right at this point. We shall see. Or maybe, or maybe. Here's the only way. Here's the only way I think that you can make Studio Series 86 work. If you merge Studio Series Generations and you merge... 
now the like War for Cybertron generations and bring them together. If you're going to do that and make them one, that could work. I know what you're thinking. If you do that, then what becomes of generations as we know it? I think that opens up generations then possibly for Beast Wars. You could make G1 in the movies all part of studio series, and then you could make the main generations line Beast Wars and eventually probably move into more things like R.I.D., Unicron Trilogy, that sort of stuff. I'm starting to get tired of G1. A lot of people are, Jillian. Um, a lot of people are. Uh, we need great Hot Rod who is not a headmaster. If you say so, I don't think we need another Hot Rod. I really don't. I think that would shell form like crazy, man. Say, is the new Sleep Mode Optimus Prime going to be a studio series? No, Sleep Mode Optimus is a Slex. That's been confirmed. Sleep Mode Optimus is a Slex, not studio series. They should offer Unicron backers the choice to get him in studio or War for Cybertron pack. I guess. I don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say about that. Yeah, look at the Analog Ninja. I knew I had your name right, buddy. I agree. Studio series uh, for the movies 86 should be Chug. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, BS Prime, if uh, SS makes G1 solve figures, I hope they make others like TF Prime animated Beast Wars. Now, that's another thing that I've heard. If you're opening that door, then you know what? You have Beast Wars 2 movie. That was a movie. You have uh, Predacons Rising. That was a movie. So I tend to agree with you, uh, BS Prime. If you're going to expand it beyond live action, then you should go all in. Uh, you could be right about the Analog uh, 86 Studio Series is coming. I can feel it. Uh, I don't think it's a good move. But what else is new? A lot of what they do, man, I don't think it's a good move. I don't think they should do uh, 86 figures in Studio Series. I agree. Um, and I'm going down here, and I'm sorry. I know I'm missing some stuff. The engineering is different. 86 Movie Studio Series are going to be... Everybody says mini masterpieces. Studio Series is not that good. The engineering's not that good, Jay. Like, look at the dreads. The engineering's awful. All the bumblebees, the engineering's awful. Now, they have had some great ones. The, uh, the uh, first of all, the Voyagers in Studio Series have been great. The leaders have been great. But a lot of the deluxes are iffy. It's a mixed bag. The sideswipe was great. But I wouldn't say Studio Series is mini masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. I really wouldn't. And if that's your selling point, I don't think Masterpiece is very good. They tend to break pretty easily. So that's not a selling point to me, man. If it is to you, cool. But you tell me that it's mini Masterpiece, and all that's telling me is avoid it because it's junk. Uh, that's just me. You know you know what I'm like. I mean, I have the new shirt up on Teespring that says, I keep telling you I'm a very unpleasant man. It's true. You guys know this about me. Could definitely go for those two. Uh, who did TFN Geek say you could go for? Blaster and Perceptor. I, yeah, I could see that, I suppose. Although, I'm happy with my Titan Return Perceptor. And I got the FOC Blaster for three bucks. Beat three bucks, and I'd get it. Um, but I could see the argument for getting those, for sure. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, maybe a Transformers Animated Season 4, or maybe a Matumti Last Lights. That's I don't see that happening because they have to appeal to the masses and almost nobody knows outside of our little like nerd community. Almost nobody knows that there was even anything done for a Transformers animated. And what has been done is like a fan thing. And um, like I'm I'm part of this nerd community and I know nothing about Last Light or the comics or anything. It, it's too I think it's too small and too niche of a maybe in selects. But I think that for it to be widely available, it's too small, too niche to appeal to a big enough audience to make the sales worthwhile. I wouldn't be in for it. Like I've seen, for example, the comic book Rodimus Prime. I don't want that. Or Hot Rod or Rodimus. Like that's not the way I know my Rodimus or Hot Rod. The way I know him is the way he looked in the 80s. I don't want that. But I know people do. I would say if you want that, hunt down the MMC version. Simple as that. I think MMC got you covered there, man. I really do. Uh, hope you get on PC. You might get on PC. Uh, let's see. The Fire Brothers made a video of that game. Okay, I don't know who that is, but whatever. Uh, if they made a video of the game, then cool, I guess. I guess. Uh, Leadfoot. Leadfoot would be a good one, Dad. I think you're going to get Leadfoot. Um, event Progenitor. Hey, happy to see you here, buddy. I know that that just jumped down. 
Okay, I got to go back up, but before I do any more of the... I'm going to stop right here. Studio Series is going to make a Rodimus Prime. They shouldn't. I. They shouldn't. They should have nothing to do. Studio Series should have nothing to do with G1. They really shouldn't. The only way that they should have anything to do with G1 is if they do a stylized look that looks like Bumblebee, uh, the Bumblebee movie guys. Outside of that, they shouldn't touch it. They shouldn't put their grubby hands on it. Okay, I'm going to go down through this. You know what I'm like. Okay, so now we're going to get to the fun stuff. The Earthrise leaks. The Earthrise leaks. We have Cyclonus. I've heard. It looks like it's a Voyager, but I've heard he's going to be a leader. I don't know why he would be a leader class. Uh, definitely unpainted prototype. The face would definitely need to be painted. And, like, here's the thing. Here is the thing. Um, I don't even know where I got that laid now. Ah, right here. Here's the thing. I love this. I still think this is the standard bearer. You know, shoulder is out. And a lot of people didn't really like this. And I get it. I'm not a huge fan of it, though. I do love the head sculpt on Combiner War Cyclonus. We have two great ones. The new one does look very good. It is based specifically on one episode. I don't think the new one is better than the deluxe. I definitely think it's head and shoulders better than the Voyager. Am I in for it? Possibly. We will see. Then we also found out we're getting, well, not found out. We're getting thrust. We actually saw thrust. We knew a long time ago we're, we're getting thrust. And I told you guys a long time ago, we're getting dirge. We're getting ramjet. And I said when I got Starscream that I'll get the cone heads and finally replace these. I don't like this mold. Never did. A lot of people do. I don't like it. The articulation is far too limited. I'm not, I was never a fan of this. I'm, you know, even the arms can't go all the way around. Now, that being said, the Earthrise one isn't far from perfect either. There's a lot, a lot of issues with it. A lot of issues with it. Here's what I do like. I do like that on the Earthrise, we're not going to have the cross piece here like we do with Starscream and the other two lads of the main Seeker trio. Uh, I don't like that they split here at the chest rather than have like the back split. So all of this is one nice clean unit. That bugs me. Um, I do like the lower look of the wings on the new one. But this brings me to what Solmus was talking about. There have been reports that the ankle tilt for the new Earthrise Seeker mold. When you tilt it, it's on a pin. The plastic has been known to stress and crack around that pin on Starscream. I am concerned that that is going to be a QC issue that continues on through other uses of the mold. I would be careful. Now, other people have said, hey, theirs is fine, and that's great, but I would be careful with it. And just pay attention when you use the ankle tilt. Make sure that it does not happen to yours. I would hate for you to break it when I could have warned you at least to keep an eye out for it. We also found out that we're getting the Top Gun Maverick, and a lot of people have said, like, hey, it looks like the Studio Series Blitzwing and stuff. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like uh, Generations Leader Jetfire. It looks like they've taken that and adapted it to be the Top Gun plane. I've never watched the movie. I know nothing about it. I'm not interested in watching Top Gun Maverick. I'm skipping this. I have less than zero interest in it. I don't know. It looks cool if you're into, like, Air Force planes, I guess. I guess it looks cool. But to me, it looks like Leader Jetfire, which was a great mold. I don't know. I guess we'll see as time goes on. Uh, what else did we find out? We saw pictures of the new Megatron. Here, I'm going to pick up this, the Siege one here just to reference it. I looked at my Siege one next to the new one. And here's what I learned. The lower legs are new. The feet are the same. The uh, thighs are the same. The uh, main pelvis piece here is new. A lot flatter with less detail. The abdomen section is new the chest exactly the same the shoulders arms all the arms exactly the same i think the cannon is new and the head is new and these pieces on the back are new it's definitely a remold of this mold if you like this megatron and you want a more earthy tank go for it if you don't like this megatron you're not going to like the earthrise one it's as simple as that i do not like the head on the earthrise one as much as this it does look like the Netflix head. This looks like the G1 head. It's up to you. It's aesthetics. I think that this is a good Megatron. I'm not going in on the Earthrise. I'm not interested in it. But 
If you kind of passed on Megatron and you were waiting to see what they would do, I think it's a good one to go in. The abs are a little more accurate than the abs on this one. We also saw in the images this guy. We saw, that's right, Soundwave. And the new Soundwave looks to have ex the exact same legs, maybe a little bit of flatter remolding on the front without the battle gong. The pieces on the sides are new and different. Uh, the entire waist section here is the same. The chest, the whole torso section, all that's exactly the same. The head looks exactly the same. Uh, the arms look the same. There might be a little bit of remolding on the shoulders, and they don't seem to have the red stripe going around. That could change. I think that you're going to, and I heard this mentioned, I think you're going to see that one uh, be able to pull off the like ship mode, but its main mode is probably going to have enough remolded pieces to pull off the cassette. It's still probably going to be able to do the lamp post mode. I don't like the yellow on the chest. I prefer this gold, but to each their own. I customized mine. Again, I'm good. I'm not going in for it. It's too close to the same. We also found out, and where do I have them? That we're getting a reissue, and I already reviewed these guys, so you can check check it out here on the channel. But we're getting a reissue of this duo. This is uh, Direct Hit and Power Punch. Uh, great little mini cons, not mini cons, uh, mini cons on the mind because I've done a lot of Armada lately. Great little MicroMaster duo. If you missed them because they were in wave five of Siege, this is your chance to pick them up. Like I have to pick up a wrong. Um, yeah, I, great. Absolutely great set. You can go back and see what I thought of them at the time. A couple of things could be improved, but generally they're fun. They're pretty good. We found out that Selex will be having the first official updated hubcap in a long time. And if you like Cliff Jumper, you're going to like the hubcap for me. However, this is my hubcap. This is the Hot Soldiers hubcap. This is the one with the body that looks the most like G1. It's not for everyone. It lacks a, a, a thigh swivel. It's definitely got a hollow body. It's not perfect. It's not for everyone. I'm not interested in spending, and I've said the same thing about Cliff Jumper. I'm not interested in spending $35 taxes in here where I live on what is essentially a fancy Legends. It's more than a Legends, but it's not as much of a deluxe as a deluxe. I feel like Cliff Jumper and this guy should have been priced in Canadian dollars at about 20 bucks. In American dollars, probably at 15, roughly. But to each their own, if you if you like that uh, Cliff Jumper, you're probably gonna like the yellow version of it as hubcap. Uh, it's the exact same old with a new head. So all of that covered. I'm excited for a lot of it. I think I'm in for Thrust. I think I'm in for um, Cyclonus. I feel like I already have Megatron and Soundwave, and I'm not really in for um, hubcap, but that's just me. As we go down here, let's see. Too bad Jazz survived, uh, but only had a non-speaking role in the Five Faces of Darkness Part 1. Sorry, not chatting much. Uh, having supper. That's fine, Ninja Bill. I'm just happy that you're here, baby. Um, hey, Tanya. Earthrise Skylinks is available on eBay uh, from U.S. sellers if that hasn't been mentioned yet. I did not know that. I knew it came out in the U.K. I did not know it was out in the U.S. I don't think it's here in Canada yet um, either, but he is starting to show up. He has a release date of August, which means like late June, July is when you're going to start seeing Skylinks. He's amazing. Absolutely. If you've watched any of the reviews, I, he's amazing, man. Simple. Not over-engineered, fun, uh, amazing. The only thing that seems iffy about it is the base mode. I want to explore that a bit because it doesn't seem as solid as what it could be. Uh, going down here, found out about Huffer's Fate in Dark Awakening. I kind of want that Maverick. A lot of people want the Maverick. I'm just not into uh, Top Gun. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's going to be great. I'm just not in for it. Um Hey, Devlin, happy to see you. I'm sorry that I am so late getting, getting to you. I bought one from a U.S. seller the other day. Hey, you know what? I envy you because I'm excited about that Skylinks. I think you made a great, great, great purchase. Absolutely support it. Uh, I'm still thinking that they will announce a leader class Galvatron for the third. I hope not. I hope it's a Voyager because the leaders are a complete ripoff. 
I, I, really, the leaders have been a complete, complete ripoff. They're not leaders. Sorry. Um, I want a Voyager, though. I might be down for a Voyager. If it's not better than the Unique Toys Mania King, I ain't getting it. Simple as that. That's where I'm to, baby. That's where I'm to. I want a Monstructor. Yes, I want a Monstructor. I agree with you. How much Skylink's on eBay? I can only imagine. Um... Suffering a severe allergy attack. Oh, no. 11-ish with... 118-ish uh, with shipping is what I pay. That's not bad. 118 is not bad. Uh, you are right, Dennis. You got the name right. Yay! I got something right. I get a lot of things wrong. Man. Um, you know what, TFN Geek? Sarsha wife has been sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. The allergies are attacking her, too. I'm surprised they haven't gotten me yet. I really feel for you, buddy. I really, really do. Uh, 87 from Amazon, 87 US from Amazon is good. Uh, I want Netflix, uh, Margie. I assume you mean Mirage, uh, Scrape Face and Hotlink. The only one I'm interested in is Hotlink, but they're all great molds. Like, I love the Mirage mold, I love the Reflector mold. Fine enough, like, it wasn't a deluxe again. He's overpriced, but it's a good mold. Weird shoulders. Um, if you're in for them, I can't argue against it. It's just I don't have a personal need for them. It's the only reason I want Hotlink is because. Man, it's hot link, and that secret mold is amazing. Uh, um, <coughs> let's see. Um, speaking of Bumblebee, my next video is the review of Titans Return Bumblebee. Titans Return Bumblebee was a nifty little lad. I gotta say, Analog Ninja was a nifty little lad indeed. I'm looking forward to getting Snapdragon, uh, or at least the three main seekers. I'm not in for the main seekers, but uh, Snapdragon, I'm down for, baby. Um, I hope it's okay to say that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Analog Ninja, it's okay to say that. 100%, buddy. We're, look, we're one community, and we're all here to support each other. You, man, you plug you. That didn't sound good, but you know what I mean. You plug your channel. <laughs> I'm desperately seeking Earthrise, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. I don't even know. I, I've heard that they are starting to show up in Targets. They're not here in uh, Toys R Us yet, but they're, gonna, they're starting to show up, so keep your eyes peeled, man. Um... I still want the Studio Series Wave 8B. I don't even know what B it is. There's too many of them. I don't even know which Bumblebee that is, Jillian. Uh, Derek, have you seen the uh, Mechanic Studios Gears, Huffer, Pipes, and Swerve? I have. They are all fantastic. A little bit pricey for what they are, but if you uh, can kind of swing it, I think all of them, Derek, are 100% worth getting. I think they're fantastic. Not fancy, but they certainly look stellar. If you really want to see pictures of her. I post a series of pictures of her and Nightbird fighting each other on the Transformers Reddit. I don't I don't use Reddit. I don't even I don't know anything about it. Um I certainly don't have a I don't do you need an account for Reddit? I don't even know. I don't know nothing about it. It's like when people talk about their Discord. I don't know anything about it man. Like you guys overestimate my abilities. I'm I'm lucky I don't use like a can with a string from it as a phone still. Um, like that's, that's, a, that's how useless I really am. What is your favorite third party devastator? Um, probably constructor, honestly. Uh, but I would never be able to get it either. I, honestly, Thomas, I'm right there. I'm 100% with you. Yeah. 100% with you. I mean, that's 500 plus us. <laughs> no, no, no. 500 us is about a thousand Canadian. Well, right now with the exchange rate, it's more like 775 Canadian. No plus. It just wouldn't scale for me. I I got the um, Titan Devastator. That's good for me. But for a third-party Devastator, I agree with you 100%, Thomas. Uh, let's see. Hey, Steve. Uh, I did hear about the Top Gun Transformers. Not for me. I don't know anything about the movie. I don't really like Tom Cruise. I think it looks cool. If you're in for it, go for it, because I think you're going to be pleased. It's not a crossover for me, but Steve, if you're in for it, buddy, I think think you'll be very happy with it uh let's see classics hot rod was a good mold if they uh mold if they erotimus base off it off it what base it off a good hot um i think what you're saying there event progenitor is if they want to make a good rodimus they can base it off of the classics hot rod i agree they could maybe give them a bicep swivel you know, maybe have the legs a little bit better, but generally it was a good mold. I agree with you 100%. Uh, when I say hot rod, I mean Rodimus. Oh, okay, very well. The slow D came. I apologize then. I saw them as two different characters. Um, I don't know if I'd say he was an underrated leader. 
Rodimus Unicronus is cool, and I'm not saying that uh, Titan Return is amazing. I've, here's the funny part. I detest the power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime. Detest it. I think it's awful. But for some peculiar reason, the Rodimus Unicronus version of the mold worked exceptionally better. The transformation was better. The colors are more uniform. It's just a better use of the mold. Um, as we go down here, as we go down here. Uh, I like the Titans Return line. It's not perfect, but it's better than G1. It is better than G1. Uh, Voyager, Energon, Rodimus for the win. I don't know. I've never held it, but maybe, maybe. It depends on what the articulation's like. I ordered the Terra Rodimus DX9. That's a good Rodimus, Mike. Hey, Nick. Nick, I sent you an email, buddy, and you never did get back to me. Now, I'm assuming that you're just too busy. That's cool, but if if you're not, you might want to check your email because I did ask you a question. The quiz was a long time ago, but we actually didn't get to it. I'm going to do the quiz now. You know what? Because Nick asked, we'll do the quiz now. The trivia this week, everybody's in here. There's a ton of you in here. Optimus Prime has been a lot of modes and a lot of things other than a transport truck. What else has Optimus been? Well, there's a list of them. My question to you is, of the list I'm about to give you, which thing which alt mode has optimus prime not been has optimus prime been a pen has optimus prime been a laptop has optimus prime been um a game console has optimus prime been a phone and has optimus prime been a shoe so a is a pen b a laptop c a gaming console d a phone, E, a shoe. Which one has Optimus Prime not been? Which alt mode has he not had? Pen, laptop, uh, game console, phone, or shoe? A, B, C, D, or E. Um, going down here, that would be a perfect. I actually use my POP hot rod as my Rodimus. Uh, the reason I love the Top Gun for the name of the figure is pretty good. Yeah, Maverick is a cool name. Um, I thought Cruz would probably be his name. Not going to make triple changers from the uh, Susers is not going to make triple. No, they're not going to make triple changers. You're right, Jay. I mean, they haven't made triple changers of uh, the two triple changers that were actually in movies. So why would they do that? Uh, hey, Bumble Breeze. Happy to see you here. Zeta Toys Unicron is available on eBay. Uh, oh, <laughs> listen, I ordered my 01 Studio Cell or Zeta Unicron, long before eBay, last year, almost a year, I put my pre-order in for him a long, long time ago. Missed a lot. Um, a crappy Wi-Fi now. Enemy of the channel, I am. Yes, Maximal 10, you are, and you did miss a lot. Shame on you. Uh, I just did the, I just did the quiz, man. Let's see what you guys say. Uh, Earthrise Soundwave looks good, but I'm not going to get it because I already have the siege. I agree with you, Jillian. Uh, the Titans Return Blitzwing was a good mold if they take away the Headmaster gimmick. See, here's the thing. The Titans Return one, maybe it is a good mold and all that, and it's the one I have because the other collector in the house, who one of the scraplets, claimed my Generations one, but both arms fell off my Titans Return Blitzwing. Luckily, they're pins, so I was able to put them back in, but, like, they just fell off. I wasn't doing anything. They just fell off. Uh, I will absolutely never get tired of G1, even though I grew up on Michael Bay. I'll never get tired of G1 either, but I get why people are. There's always hoping to find a Fancy Cell Astro Train. Fancy Cell Astro Train is good, but it's delicate. Um... Hunt for the prior Blitzwing and fix the shoulder. I took my Blitzwing apart. All you got to do is sand some stuff down and then put the screws back in. Uh, you might have to, you know, sand it down, try putting it together, take it apart, sand it down a bit more. But once I did that, my Blitzwing worked perfect. I done the same thing with Double Dealer, and he worked perfect. I got Siege Thundercracker today for 27 Canadian. Like Red Wing, better, but it's still cool. You know what? 27 Canadian, though, for that mold is pretty great, though, Analog Ninja, honestly. Someone should look into the Trans Tech uh, proposed series for ideas. I, I agree. Somebody should look into that. Um, a good Rodimus Prime? I don't know if it's a top priority, but 
if you're a fan, I guess of the character would be top priority. I get that. Hey, Master Prime, happy to see you. I saw a comment from you earlier today. Three part openers for seasons one, two, and three animated were also released as movies. They were also released as movies. Very interesting. Give us a load uh, of G1, especially if we get Neon. What is... <laughs> what? Neon? Why would you want a bunch of Neon, man? Um, don't forget, coming up, we still have an exclusive listing. I don't get bothered about G1 being done in studio as long as it matches generations. But it shouldn't match generations. What's the difference? Why do you have two lines? That's the thing, MWG. If you're doing G1 in generations and you're doing G1 in studio service, what's the point? It's the same thing. Make it one line. Why are you muddying up the waters like that? That's all I'm saying. Food for thought. I wonder what was the idea with Sleep Mode Optimus. Well, the idea with Sleep Mode Optimus Prime was that scene in the movie where he's dead. That's the idea of Sleep Mode Optimus Prime. Um, you know, hey, kids, want to play with your corpse? A corpse of your hero? Absolutely. It's specifically to be able to re recreate that. Do I think it's a good idea? No, but like TF Fan Geek said last week, it could very well suffice as a good version of, say, a Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. More for Cybertron Trilogy is mini masterpiece, but actually good. I bought Zero Transformers for June 2020. I, I haven't bought any since. You know what? I ordered um, Rack and Ruin from Amazon, which isn't here yet. Besides that, I haven't bought anything since March. Until the world is not garbage, I'm not going hunting for stuff. Simple as that. Um... Yeah, I know nothing about Lost Light either. Uh, Earthrise Scorponok is a must-have. I agree with you, Tanya. Also one that, luckily, I pre-ordered a long time ago before the world went to everything it is now. Um, MP quality has dropped, and Studio Series is a lesser MP line. Oh, my goodness. This kills me. Um... How far up, man, do I have to go? Um, oh, man, oh, man. You guys are chatty lads tonight. Um, uh, okay. Uh, MP quality, but I can see Hasbro resizing and merging the two lines and dropping the quality even more, uh, but keeping the MP prices. Yeah, you're probably right, event progenitor. That sounds like something they do. I want to Jude. I think you mean Judd Nelson, J-U-D-D, -D, not J-U-D-E. Uh, you want to Judd Nelson? Okay. Um, I, I see why. Sorry, Sundak was going to get uh, Windblade repaint. Sorry, was going to get a Windblade. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I like sorry. Oh, man, I'm trying to keep it up. Analog Ninja Baby, I'm trying to keep it up, man. Doing, doing my best. Uh, Left Foot is going to just show up on the shelves at Target. I agree. It is. Guys, I know I'm going to be missing stuff here, and I apologize for that. Um, love the look of the new Cyclonus and Thrust. Absolutely. Dirt and Ramjet will come. Yeah, and they'll just redo the wings on those guys. Uh, sorry would be great. I agree. Sorry would be great. And a spike and a Daniel. I'm excited for Earthrise Cyclonus. I hope the Scur that Scourge joins him in Voyager. I think Scourge will now in the third installment. I think we might get a Galvatron. We may get a, a Hot Rod. I think that doing a Cyclonus opens that door. I don't think we're going to get Cyclonus in Earthrise. We may, but I wouldn't even be the least bit shocked if Cyclonus is a hint for what's to come after Earthrise. I could see it. I absolutely could see it. Uh, I have both Cy Cyclonuses. Uh, ER Cyclonus does not look that good because it's missing. Yeah, but I mean, it, you're saying it doesn't look that good because it's missing paint. They're not going to release it like that. It's obviously a test shot, right? Um Let's see, Conehead articulation, better than original Coneheads. Yes, that's the thing. Like, I'm not, like, when I look at the Earthrise Seeker mold, and I've said this before about Starscream, it's better than the classics, it's better than G1. I just don't think it's good. It's as good as Siege, personally, for me. I don't, I don't see it. But the Coneheads are different. They didn't get a Siege use of the Seeker mold. So their only update since Classics is going to be the Earthrise, and the Earthrise is better. I'm going to be very aware of the issues, like the chest, like the ankles, but I'm not going to pretend that it's not impressive. Um, 
going down here. There's so much that I keep passing on. Screamer, I bought one and gave it to a friend. Ugh, ER Screamer is awful. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either, Ninja Bill. I can't wait to replace my cone heads with Earth Raja. That's going to happen for me too. Um, so you can <laughs> send by this so you can kill them all over again. Obviously, time to sleep, uh, sleep mode Optimus Prime. So we go down here. Guys, I know I'm skipping stuff because I got to get through the, the last bit of stuff. Uh, go watch Top Gun. No, I don't like Tom Cruise. I don't really like army stuff and army movies. It's There's nothing about Top Gun or that series that has even and that much, not even that much interest for me. It's not, nothing about it is for me at all. Uh, it's like everybody said, you know, talk about like another army movie, like, Everybody said, like, Saving Private Ryan is great. I detested it. I fell asleep. I thought it was so bad. Um, I kind of like the mold, but the new mold is better despite its flaws. I don't like the hollow toes. I don't like the hollow biceps. I twist uh, Earth by Starscream's bicep. And I feel like I'm going to break it off because it's so flimsy and thin. Um, I'm going to miss the Transformers Bay movies. Um, going down here. Earthrise Megatron doesn't look good. It looks like they broke the Siege version and tried to fix it. I kind of agree with you, Jillian. And the lips, the lips creep me out on the guy, man. I think Top Gun Maverick will make for a uh, for an ex excellent custom base for Aerobots. Probably Ninja Bill. Uh, if your first name is Maverick, then you know what? I think that fate intends for you to have it. Uh, to be honest and say I... I've not bought the current Megs and Prime, and my Galvatron Cyclonus would have to beat my Mania King. Um, the new Optimus is really good, though, Ravage, if I'm being clear. But I kind of, I, I, I kind of agree with you, though, about the rest of everything you said there, uh, about Mania King and the old Scourge, um, and the RTS. NK Cyclonus. I, I really agree with everything you said. Wonder if they fixed the foot issue. I don't know. Good question. I wanted the same thing, Event Progenitor, if they fixed the foot issue with the Earthrise Megatron. As we go down here, Ryder Despotron is, and Striker Manus are both excellent, though, Ravage. If you've got them, stick with them, baby. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of test shots there. Lampost is just sound wave posing. It is, Steve. I agree with you, buddy. I'm not... Uh, do, doing the Earth Ray, uh, Earthrise Megatron because the renders look lame. I agree. That's okay, Thomas. You take off, baby. Still feeling burned out from Siege Megatron. Uh, doesn't matter what you call them, Dennis. Uh, mini bots are Johnny Tom when I call it mini cons, obviously. Um, I'm playing with Titan's Return Hot Rod right now. See, Titan Return Hot Rod's a nice lad. He's a nice boy. I'm getting hubcap definitely. A lot of people are saying they are. I'm not justifying the price point, but you do you, man. Um, I got my hubcap. I'm happy with him. Uh, I, I, Nick, I done the quiz. I, I, I done the quiz, man. Um, by the way, I'm not seeing anybody answering the quiz yet. I want a new blaster and sandstorm and I'll be happy. I'm happy with sandstorm. We got to get the generations one. He was fantastic. You're not going to get any better. Uh, one of my favorite songs is get back up again by Toby Mac. I, Okay. Um, we had Ghostbusters and now Top Gun. What other crossovers? I, I, who knows? I, we're not, we also have another crossover happening, Steve. You're forgetting about Friendship is Magic. You're forgetting about uh, My Little Prime. That's a crossover. Um, I would assume maybe Earwolf eventually, maybe Knight Rider eventually. I don't, I don't know. See what E1 owns. Whatever E1 owns. Hasbro now owns, so that's what they'll use first. Um, a team, yeah, A team would be a cool one. Hopefully, we get. Uh, that's, I'm hoping to get that Skylinks. Uh, hey, input. Um, as we go down here, as we go down here, my target has the Seekers in the back. I heard, I think I heard you say that, Jay, earlier. Maybe, maybe during Ninja Bill show this morning. Uh, I finished your pick for my... Oh, cool. That's excellent, Ninja Bill. Uh, can uh, can review some Transformers Prime figures, like what you're doing for... 
I have already reviewed a ton of Transformers Prime figures, Jillian. If you go back and you go through the playlist, I've done a ton of Transformers Prime offerings over the years. A lot of customs, too. A lot of them. Uh, go back through the catalog. They're all there. Uh, okay. I think we're kind of coming down. I think we uh, are going to be Voyager class. Maybe they will be Voyager class, fire truck, fire. Uh, what? Fire truck is. Laptop, somebody. Okay, event progenitor said laptop. No, guys, you guys are throwing out what he hasn't been. I gave you the choices. It's the it's the quiz. If you're new here, I get that you don't get it. B, B, laptop. Yeah, you guys are all right. It is laptop. He's been everything else. He has not been a laptop. I just wasn't down far enough. Um, hey, Waluigi. Uh, as we go down here. Okay. And I know I'm missing some stuff. I got ER wheel drive. Wow, for five sixty a Canadian. Where do you find these deals, man? Uh, I'm so thrilled about Cyclonus. By the way, don't hear much on him, but it is one of the Few new unique models. Absolutely, D Gray. I agree with you. Uh, as we go down here, has anyone seen Hot Wheels The Race World? Nope. Um, okay, so we're just going to clue things up a little bit. So we had the next part of the God Neptune comic that got done. And like, this is why I don't like things done in Japanese. So God Neptune gets cut in half and everybody's dead. But like, he's brought back to life because of some sort of magical power. And the same thing with White Convoy. And he gets cut in half. And Megatron gets cut in half. And then he comes back as super... Sorry, he's like... He's super ultra Megatron. What is he? Um, Megatron Omega Perfect Form. You got cut in half. No, you should not be able to come back. I get it. Amlegwaz or whatever it's called. Dark Energon. But no. No. It can't keep coming back. It's ridiculous. Um... You know, then when we see uh, King Neptune all cut in half, we have Half Shell who's lamenting it and he's talking about that, hey, we lost, uh, what is it, Lob, Lob Hammer, which is basically Lob Claw, but we're not getting Lob Claw in the box set. And he says, the last time we were killed, it was by Duncan. Who's Duncan? And then when, you know, he's there almost half on a cry, someone says, I am the that person, and I can bring them back. And brings them back. Like, who's that person? The storytelling is ridiculous. I'm sorry. The storytelling is ridiculous. Maybe it's great in its own language, but it does not translate well. They call Rodimus Prime Primus, and Primus is bringing through, um, I don't know, he's bringing through some people. Big Blue Convoy was killed, but part of his spark went into the sword. So now it's like a magic sword with Big Blue Convoy's power in it. It's like, what? What? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's too ridiculous for me to find any joy in it. I really don't like it. Um, and then I, I surmised last time that um, it looked like King Poseidon and God Neptune don't get along. Indeed, this time around, uh, God Neptune looks at Turtler and is like, hey, help us out. And Turtler's like, okay. And then God Neptune is kind of like, hey, I don't respect you, though. And Turtler's like, well, I'm not helping you. Only help if I'm respected. And then they're not friends anymore. Like, this, <laughs> what? What? It's too silly to talk about. The best part of all of that was at the end when they showed a picture of the upcoming, like, Super Megatron next to the box set for God Neptune. And guess what? They can kind of... Uh, stand up next to each other, and the new Super Megatron can actually pull off the, uh, sorry, Megatron Omega Perfect Form. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, so I wanted to talk about Ninja Bill for a minute. Guys, if you haven't already, go subscribe to him, check him out. On the 21st of June, you're going to want to go to Ninja Bill and Friends. He's going to be doing something very special. I don't want to ruin it. He announced it this morning. Go check it out. Let him tell you himself, but he's going to be doing something very special. You're going to want to be there for that Ninja Bill and Friends episode. Absolutely. He's always been a huge supporter of the channel. I am. I, I send out a huge congratulations to him. I am planning to be there the 21st of June myself as well, just like you should be. The countdown of Smartest Transformers. The voting was very interesting. 
it will go kind of public at some point tomorrow. However, for patrons, it is available now on our Patreon as well. Tomorrow evening, 7 Eastern, whatever that is in your time zone. I was talking to someone earlier, and for him, it's actually going to be midnight of June 13th. So it's going to be heading into Saturday for him. Uh, it's going to be Episode 9 of Universal Collision in Episode 8. Long story short, Overlord led an assault uh, on Oracris, and right now, kind of like the triumvirate, we'll say, of Overlord Bludgeon and uh, Beast Wars Megatron are kind of in charge. But I think that Overlord has bigger aspirations. Tomorrow, we have about a half hour long episode. Actually, it's 30 minutes pretty much exactly. So a half hour, um, 7 Eastern. Nice way to start the weekend. And it's called Dark Deals. Uh, and basically, you're going to learn more about something that Megatron is thinking of and planning and not liking. And on Oracris itself, you're going to see a deal struck. We'll see how the deal plays out, but we're going to see a deal struck between Overlord and the Predaking. That's kind of where that goes. Uh, what else do we have? Pickups. I don't have any pickups. And that brings us to the last bit of news. I'm just going to check in here with the few comments that you guys have had, and we'll do the listing. The listing that I mentioned to you guys that I said wasn't anywhere else. We're going to do that. That's the last. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention it last week, and I neglected to mention it tonight. Earth Rise, uh, the rumor of Earth Rise Blue Streak, Blue Streak listing. Hell to the yes. I absolutely want that 100%. I didn't go in on the uh, siege molds, but Earthrise, I'm down for it. Absolutely down for it. Um, I got to go back up here a little bit. Um, not sure how far off I'm going to go here. Um... Um, how far up do I have to go here again? Uh, let's see. I know right now, guys, that I'm not saying a whole lot, but bear with me a minute. Um, Optimus Prime's weirdest alt mode was nothing. Yeah, I, you know what? I liked Action Masters. They always get a bum rap, but I never had a problem with Action Masters, to be honest with you. Um, Hammer Bite definitely looks interesting, Ninja Bill. I agree with you 100%. Uh, a potato. Uh, hey, Luke, happy to see you here. Uh, that you would want... What? What is a figure that you would want uh, for Earthrise? I don't know. The Blue Streak, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's a hard question. Um, I want all of the 13. There you go. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, I've been fortunate to be able to have the means to get my recent haul that's the slowly being shipped uh oh god but if you need uh any vas uh what oh vas okay uh i would uh i voiced long haul in the star force media uh tf comic interesting i did not know that uh grand inquisitor in darth vader comic dub oh I always, I always have my eye out for talent. Really, I usually say to people, uh, drop me like a private message and we can talk from there and I'll need to hear the voice to see if I think it matches someone. But it's, I'm always open to the idea. Um, let's see. Going down. Uh, I bet the release. I bet they release thrust in stores and ramjet and dirge together. Like uh, that's what I've heard, actually, Mike. That they're going to release thrust, and then the other two are going to be a two pack. That's what I've heard. Um, but I do hope, like MWG, that they all get individual releases. But we'll see. Uh, I want a new Armada thrust. And it's an interesting choice input. I could kind of get behind it. The last two coneheads are going to be Walmart or Amazon exclusives, maybe. 
To be honest, I bought the Earthrise Seekers just for their jets. Yeah, I think a lot of people done that. I've heard people say that they like those jets, but they like the robot modes of the Siege better. So whatever. Uh, they do make it hard to complete the trios. Jay, I absolutely agree with you, buddy. As we go down. I have my Studio Series Dark of the Moon sound wave. Great, great sound wave. I might get hubcap because I can never resist adding to my record shelf. Fair reasoning. Um, I think I'll get Maverick and use it as a different bot. You could definitely do that, Derek. Uh, what? Hen Henshin? I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, yeah, Minerva would be great. Interesting from someone too. Uh, a team going down here, going down here. I know that. Uh, what did Steve say? Uh, Re-release the Animorph Transformer. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, no, the Animorph Transformers. I have all of the Beast Wars uh, uh, mutants and subline. Um, TF Gaming, happy to see you. I have seen Battlegrounds. Uh, it's not for me, but I think it looks really good. Uh, should I get Combiner Wars upgrade kits? A lot of people swear by them. I didn't get any of them, but hey, man, you do you. Uh, Prom keeps coming back. He does keep coming back. God Neptune gets cut in half. Uh, Waspinator. <laughs> Wimp. Are we getting an Ultra Mega Cliff Jumper from... Oh, we may. Uh, Commander... What? Okay, but it would have to be Commander Class. Uh, going down, going down. Waspinator keeps... Yeah, Waspinator never really goes away, though. Like He just stays. Hey, Chicken Fried Steak, my favorite name. Have you watched any of the Transformers series? Optimus on <laughs> uh, that Primus was yes, I know he, he Optimus doesn't keep dying and coming back though. Like that's the whole thing. He might do it once. He doesn't do it a hundred times over, and he doesn't get caught in half and come back. He gets like found. Um okay. So, very last thing. Very last thing. My wife has been very understanding. I'm sure she must be impatient by now. Very last thing is the listing. The listing is a Generation Select Leader Class Ratch. R-A-T-C-H. I don't know what it is. I assume it's a ratchet. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But it's Generation Selects. It's Leader Class and it's Ratch. It sounds like a Leader Class Ratchet. What it could be, I have no earthly idea. Ponder, speculate, but it's a listing. It's not a rumor. It's a listing. Whatever it is, it's happening. I know what it sounds like. It sounds like a leader ratchet in the selects line. We will see. This has gone way too long. I really got lost here. I appreciate you guys coming out. I appreciate you guys giving me some of your very valuable time. I know how important it is to you. I just see Brandon coming in here now and Boss Gunny coming in here now. Uh, if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, guys, there's a donate link down in the description. Of course, you can visit us on Patreon or Teespring. Don't forget, somehow, someway, each and every day, you do make a difference. <sighs> I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either right here in the live streams at the Stop Motion Premieres. Remember, we got one coming tomorrow, plus we have the countdown tomorrow. It's going to be a full got by day tomorrow. Countdown early in the day, 7 Eastern, Episode 9. Or, of course, the old-fashioned way right here inside the video.